I am the founder of 24-7 Commitment, and it is a nonprofit that's focused on honoring, supporting, and encouraging marriages, especially for first responders. I was working a corporate job um, and sort of just missing that that soul-filling element. You know, like I liked my job, but I felt like I needed to be doing more. Four kids. My husband's a firefighter. Um, life was really busy, traveling all over the world. Um, and I had started this blog, firefighterwife.com, and it sort of blew up. I need a structure. I need a system. How are we going to grow this? So it was it was overwhelming. It was um, exciting. It was joyful, all those things. So B-School, I found, I'm like, all right, this is, this is it. I'm going to take my chance on it. What are some of the changes that you made from taking B-School? I got a lot of clarity. I mean, right away from the beginning, like your profit clarity module, that's sort of like locked me in because you started talking about business models. And, you know, I have this business background, but even running a nonprofit, some people think, you know, the the funding is going to show up, the supporters are going to show up, but you really still have to do good marketing, right? You have to, your words have to be right, your website has to be right. And what is your model? Like, where is our funding going to come from? So, um, but when you sit back and go like, wow, we really did raise six figures in funds in, you know, one of our earliest years, that's a huge um, statement. It's a huge accomplishment. And the work that you do is so incredibly important. And I've, I've looked at your story so many times. And I was also so impressed. You grew your mailing list from just 100 to 14,000. That's amazing. Every time you send an email, you have an opportunity to inspire them or give them a resource they didn't have before. You spend your best days when you're kind of in a corporate job. Um, you get dressed up and you go spend your best eight hours in an office with other people. And your family is, you know, getting what's left of you when you come home. So now my day is mine. My schedule's more flexible. You know, I'm there every morning for the kids, getting on the bus, getting off the bus. Um, you know, the travel is not as intense and it's more on my terms. Um, so it, it's, yeah, it's a huge difference. So there's a lot of programs out there that are really, you know, what's your dream? What's your vision? Make it happen. And that's all good. Like we should have dreams and visions, but there's kind of, um, steps and strategies and we really need to dig in and do the hard work. And so I loved that you really went after the hard stuff. Like, you know, is that profit clarity? Is that your right ideal customer? Um, are your headlines good enough? You know, really watching the metrics. And so, it, it really gave me a sense of, oh, I'm on the right track here, taking my business knowledge, applying it into the passion. And that was an entirely different way for me to look at my business. I felt okay doing those things. And it was simpler. Our, our social media ramped up. People shared and shared and shared our content, you know, even if it's just a post on Facebook or a tweet. And every day to just know that we're reaching over 100,000 um, followers. I mean, the reach is even further, right? Because it gets shared, but a hundred thousand like real people have at some point or another liked our page, signed up for our list. People say every day that, you know, what would I do without the Firewise Sisterhood? What would I do without our 24-7 commitment community? I have people coming to me from all industries saying, can you do 24-7 commitment for us? And that, that right there has been amazing. Being able to have a business where you you can schedule around family needs, um, so many people crave that, and it is so doable in the economy and in and, you know just in the dynamics we're in with with social media with online business. We have four kids, which is just insane to think that I filled up a passport in five years when my kids were babies um, to to look back on that and just realize that oh my gosh this is this is where we need to be we wanted to be home for them especially when they're middle schoolers and high schoolers and the flexibility has um, allowed that to happen and uh, you know they love it they love it too I'm there every day it's great 